What up, Pokemon peeps? Hi, how are ya? This is like the 15th time I've tried to do this video. Um, first things first, if you're not already and you want to be, be part of the Grumpy Pokemon crew, hit the subscribe button and smack the bell icon so you know whenever I say put up new videos. <clears throat> um, questions, comments? Always down below or on my social medias. Okay. Oh boy. First things first, again, I suggest you get yourself a beverage of some sort, a comfy dog, and a comfy place, and buckle in because this is gonna be one heck of a ride if that. Okay, so. My friend has a van that he realized to lies on to go to and from work. Well, that said van has broken down, you know, and it's been, from what I understand, a little easy fix, if that. Little, little tips and tricks, you know. But, with our help, he... And another one, someone else's help, um, brought into this garage. He told him that, hey, I, I think it's my starter. Uh, let's see here. I swear it's something. Let's see here. He told him that it was a starter, but they kept saying, and they swore that it was just the bat, his battery terminals, battery wire, and water pump. And those being shot was producing enough voltage sludge amperage to draw to make amperage draw to make it look like it was a starter. It was a starter. And this converts it $375 and two weeks later it's the starter will not work. It no longer functions. Just like he said. But they, and as far as I know, and like I said, my roommate, Flash friend, he, he told, like I said, he told him his concerns and what he thought the problem was. And they pretty much said, okay, yeah, 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 brush him off. And they did the bare minimum repairs to make it look like they fixed it. And charged him. Said three hundred seventy-five bucks, and got it out of the garage without actually diagnosing or repairing the real problem. So, and then how? But eating me, and uh, I'm assuming one of the mechanics or owner or whatever, do do better. Um, he said. My, my review, my boyfriend's review, wasn't backed up. You know, it was flimsy at best. And then he goes on and spill of saying, Upon inspection of the vehicle, it was found that both battery terminals were extremely loose. Someone even attempted to put in tinfoil to tighten them up. See, and as a mechanic, I can tell you, loose cables will all will always will absolutely cause a no start issue or a charging issue. Considering draw test, they never did one. Considering draw tests, or if they did, they're lying. I don't know. Um, it passed, and the vehicle never failed to start for them. Really, dude? And he goes on, this guy goes on to say, let's see, from the cables, um, they did new, new battery terminals, and they, he goes on to say, any mechanic will tell you an intermediate issues are near impossible to diagnose at times, so you are forced to start with the obvious. 
obvious issue and moved there. Well, let's see here. Was it starting or did it stay started? Um, it would start and give a false start, which, you know. Um, there is a very, very noticeable metal noise recovering from the vehicle. The battery is brand new. So, I don't know. So, and then he goes, goes on even more to say, uh, and then he goes on to say, the van, well, the van was in the shop. We know it's a serious coolant leak. It was a water pump inlay tube and water pump itself that was leaking. So that caused no starting issue. That caused the metal sound. It sounds like a UFO, you would think. You know, landing. You can hear it. So, I'm not saying it didn't have a leak. If it did, but I, I don't think so. Uh, let's see here. And he goes on to say even more. Obviously, a coolant leak can be determined to the vehicle, or detrimental to said vehicle. So they recommended replacement of this parts while I was here. Did you? Let's see here. Again, the fan, the van never failed to start for us. How many times do we try it, dude? Once? Twice? Three times? And, and then he goes on and says, Had a simple phone call been made by saying, Hey, by saying, Hey, my van's still having the issues. My van's still having the issues. Can you bring, you know, can you take a look at it? And they're like, Oh, it would have been looked at and would have been fine. And then he goes on, the same guy goes on and say, If we threw parts at every intermediate issue, we might get lucky 50% of the time. With some good luck, we chose to not. We chose not to throw parts at vehicles because, in the end, it's a flip of a coin if it works or not. And it, and when it doesn't, customers typically aren't happy that they spent money on essentially nothing. That's what you gave him. Let's see. And even more, he says, at the end of the day, the internet is a great tool to help businesses thrive and survive, but not in this instance. But instances like these make it tough. Notice how they never had any backstory that there was tinfoil jammed in the terminals or seventy several empty jug and jugs of coolant in the vehicle. Oh my god, we had to refill the coolant. <gasps> oh no, and we left all those jugs back there. <gasps> Get gone, dude. And then even more, last sentence, he says, we did in fact in fact, fix actual issues with this vehicle, but because the starter function, no, it didn't. As it should for us, because you know, we get slapped in the face because we didn't chance wasting someone else's money. That that's because we're honest. I know I'm probably sounding like Karen and, you know, there's more than one side of all the stories and, but I try to hear both sides plus thirds, you know what I mean, to kind of get the picture of what's going on. Let's see here. 
the van's still sitting in my driveway. Either giving a false start or not starting at all. And when it does start, and roommate tries to take it around, or turn it around, you can still hear this obnoxiously loud metal noise. How is that fixing anything? The starter, like I said, <laughs> either doesn't start or gives you a false start. And now it's basically sitting in my driveway, not starting, because they, one of the things they did was F up the starter. You know, if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. I don't know. It's it has been irritating me, and I have been trying to make a video to where I could convey what I want to say. Yesterday, I was in such a mood. I just I couldn't. All the videos I recorded was like, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna sleep on it, and I'm gonna go with clear eyes and go from there. And I'm still ticked off. So because of their mistakes, I'm not listening to the owner when my friend slash roommate even had a mechanic friend of his help with the issues as well as, you know, utilizing said internet. You know, I, am I missing something here? I know I'm not a mechanic and I know like this much, but <clears throat> this doesn't sound right to me. All I have to do is just make it right. Did you try? I don't think so. But Okay, enough of that. I'm, like I said, I was not in the best headspace. I've been having some family issues lately, and yeah, it's just, oh, the drama in my, it's just been, it's been real in my neck of the woods. And I realize there's a lot of others that have it way worse than I do, but, you know, I don't know. So anyway... I thought I'd get on here and try to explain as much as I could. And I might make another video Tuesday or Monday and Tuesday. We'll see how everything pans out. Hope I'm hoping sometime this week. So. Oh, so anyway, in the spirit of the Grumpy Pugma. I got a box behind me. So thanks for hanging out with me and this beer of the Grumpy Pugmo. A bossy bossy. A golden noodle and a bug. I will see you next time. And if you guys have any stories like this, feel free to reach out. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.